Hello everyone. In this video, we are solve this interesting radical mass solvent question. This question is cube root 5 minus 2 square root 13 is equal to what? How to solve this interesting mass solvent question? So first of all, let a is equal to cube root 5 minus 2 square root 13 and at this moment again I'll add v is equal to cube root 5 plus 2 square root 13 now at this moment I can say really this is our first equation and this is our second equation it's okay now if i use both set cube so i can easily e to be a to the power 3 is equal to 5 minus 2 square root 13 and if i use both set cube again this equation so it will be b to the power 3 is equal to 5 plus 2 square root 13. now this is our third equation and this is our fourth equation so okay <clears throat> now at this moment, if I add our third equation and fourth equation, this time I can easily our third equation plus fourth equation. I simplify this question easily. Okay, so this equation it will be a to the power three and it will be b to the power three is equal to this, but it will be five minus two square root thirteen. And it will be plus five plus to square root 13 then I can say here a to the power 3 plus v to the power 3 is equal to this this cancel out this is positive this is negative so 5 plus 5 it will be 10 this is our fifth equation so okay now at this moment if I multiply our first equation and second equation I can say easily this time this it will be a times b is equal to a it will be cube root 5 minus 2 square root 13 times and it will be cube root 5 plus 2 square root 13 i multiply first equation and second equation now at this moment i can easily this expression it will be a v is equal to cube root you know that this time this it will be 5 minus 2 square root 13 times and here 5 plus 2 square root 13 now at this moment you can see easily here a v is equal to cube root you know that it will be a plus b times a minus b a square minus b square so here is a is equal to 5 and v is equal to 2 square root 13 whole to the power 2. At this moment, I can easily here a v is equal to cube root here 5 to the power 2. I can easily it will be 25 minus 2 to the power 2 it will be 4. 4 times 13 because of that square is cancelled. It will be 52. <coughs> then I can easily we are find out here is a v is equal to cube root minus 27 then it will be cube root minus 3 to the power 3 then this this cancel out we are find out here is a b is equal to minus 3 this is our sixth equation and our fifth equation it will be a to the power 3 plus v to the power 3 is equal to 10 this is our fifth equation now at this moment we know that a cube plus v cube uh, according to this formula it will be a plus v whole to the power 3 minus 3 a v times a plus v is equal to 10. we know that this formula now <coughs> i can say that here a plus v whole to the power 3 minus 3 times recall our sixth equation a b is equal to minus 3 and here is minus 3 and it will be a plus v is equal to 10. 
now i can say really at this moment uh, it will be a plus v whole to the power 3 minus it will be minus 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 it will be plus and here a plus v is equal to 10 we find out here is a nice equation it will be a plus 3 whole to a plus v whole to the power 3 plus 9 times a plus v is equal to 10 now at this moment let a plus v it will be u so we'll add this value it will be u so we we'll find out here is u to the power 3 plus 9u is equal to 10. <coughs> now at this moment we'll find out the value of u in this cubic equation so i can easily it will be u to the power 3 plus 9u minus 10 is equal to 0. i just move on this 10 in this side it will be negative 10. it's okay now I can say really, here is u to the power 3 plus 9u minus 9 minus 1 is equal to 0. Minus 9 minus 1 it will be minus 10. Now in this expression I can say really, here is u to the power 3 and here is minus 1 plus 9u minus 9 is equal to 0. Now I can say really, here is a cube minus b cube. If I apply this rule we know that it will be a minus b times a square plus a b plus v square i mean one square it will be one and in this expression you can say here is nine is common so it will be u minus one is equal to zero then here you can see easily here is u minus one is common so u minus one so this term divide this it will be u square plus u plus 1 and this divide this it will be plus 9 is equal to 0 then I can say really, uh, this equation uh, it will be u minus 1 times u square plus u plus 1 plus 9 it will be 10 so I can say really, it will be 10 is equal to 0 now at this moment we'll find out here is two case our first case is u minus 1 is equal to 0 and other case we'll find out u square plus u plus 10 is equal to 0 but we know that here is a is equal to 1 v is equal to 1 and c is equal to 10 so we are find out delta is equal to p square minus 4 a c so b is 1 square minus 4 times 1 times c is 10 then I can say really this value it will be 1 minus 40 and it will be minus 39 so less than 0 we will find out here is imaginary part I mean complex number so no real solution no real solution so I rejected this value I can't follow this value but in this expression you can see easily here is u minus 1 is equal to 0 so you can see that u is equal to 1 but recall u it will be a plus b first of all we will add here uh, u is equal to a plus b so i can say really, here is u it will be a plus b u is equal to a plus b is equal to one and recall we know that a v is equal to minus three so i put this i take this equation in this case so i can say really, here is a v is equal to negative 3 so at this moment we we'll find out the value of a and v in this <coughs> math question so i can say really, here uh, v is equal to 1 minus a so okay our target a is equal to what because of that first of all we are let our question it is it will be a okay so i put this value in this equation so here is a b is equal to negative 3 and a here is b is equal to 1 minus a is equal to minus 3 and then i can say that it will be a minus a square is equal to negative 3 then this expression it will be negative a square plus a plus 3 is equal to 0 i just move on this value in this side it will be positive now if i multiply uh, both side um, minus 1 so i can say that this expression it will be a square minus a minus 3 is equal to 0 
now at this moment we are find out what is the value of a in this quadratic equation so i can say easily here is a is equal to minus b minus b b is equal to negative one plus minus square root v square i mean negative one whole square minus four a c a is one c is negative three over two times one a a it will be one so i can say that here is one plus minus square root four times uh three minus minus it will be plus so i can say that uh it will be 12 and plus 1 it will be 13 over 2 so we'll find out here is a is equal to 1 plus square root 13 over 2 and here a is equal to 1 minus square root 13 over 2 so we'll find out two value but what is the right answer in this vertical math question but recall our question is cube root 5 minus Two square root 13 this is our question so if you follow this question you can see it is less than 0 so it is greater than 0 so it is rejected I follow this below so I can see the a it will be cube root first of all we are let 5 minus 2 square root 13 it will be 1 minus square root 13 over a 2 this is our final answer in this radical mass olympiad question thank you all if you enjoyed this video please subscribe our channel for other interesting video goodbye take care